so by, as, as, as we explained before, we bought this system because it's um, a lot simpler, no moving parts, operates on uh, mainly hinges. And we could see that the industry was uh, changing in the um, for occupational health and safety. Uh, and this gives us a bit of flexibility with the rising of the board uh, for crutching, being an upright crutcher, or traditional style, um, depending who turns up on the day, you can have it staggered. And for shearing, it just takes out the drag. So um, it's sort of something we can see going forward. It's going to be what probably the industry is going to be heading towards. Yeah. What's the response of the shearers that have been through it like so far? So far, we've only done one, one main shearing sort of, uh, of the wieners. There's probably about two and a half thousand there, and and a few rams, and they all loved it. I don't mean, there's two guys that got on who'd never operated, well, never done a crutching trailer either, so they'd never pulled it out of a race system. And this guy was 68, and after we just watched a couple couple of shearers do it, he was into it, and um, after about two days, he realised he didn't even have to put the hand on the head. He could just put it from the back pin and slide across and they fell straight into position onto the ground, down the slide and onto the ground. So he was very happy. Um, and with the rams, he said, you've got no, those back legs don't, there's no purchase on the back legs because they're going sideways and they're <coughs> straight out. So a hell of a lot easier for them to crutch or to shear those. Um, so yeah, the, they, they loved it. I mean, there's obviously a few things you're going to tweak for shearer comfort with new <laughs> storage components and, uh, you know, and the change of the slides, but yeah. Yeah. And does, does the backup Charlie work well on it? Yeah, backup Charlie works really well. Um, just keep on coming. You can literally just walk straight from the wool table to the, or the press and just walk across the bugle and push, push up and um, keep on going. And I've probably said to you before, we'd probably end up putting some convex mirrors up on the roof here so we can, from the blasting or whatever, you can actually see what's happening in the race and whether someone's got to go up there or not. But, when the, uh, I do remember one of the crutching was, well, maybe cheering, someone did, might have gone up there three times in the first half hour. So you just kept on coming around. So yeah. um, it's, not, it's not a problem to keep, stop, yeah, keep them going. And you know, no, working in traditional pens when you've got to push sheep forwards into the, towards the noise. It's hard work, eh? It's a struggle, yeah. yeah. So this is just, keeps, just keeps on going, especially the backup Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cheers.